again, thanks for joining me. I'm having a rare day off today. I had some holidays to take before Christmas, so I'm taking one of them days off today. It's a Friday. Uh, mainly because we're going out tonight. We're going to stay with some of our friends on the East Coast. So I thought, well, I'll just take the day off because it's a couple of hours drive. I'm going to set off after dinner. But last time I were over, he's got, they've, they've got a caravan over there. Last time I were over there, he asked me if I had any bits of scrap wood that I could make him some sort of bench with in his shed. Um, so I'm just going to prep that today and take it over and fit it for him this weekend. It's all junk, it's all scrap wood, it's all stuff that we're going to go in the skip. Um, so I'll see what I can do with it. So this is what I've got to work with. This is all packaging. So when we, sometimes when we get furniture delivered at work, um, they have to put this extra packaging on it just to stop things getting damaged. So we just normally take it out and throw it away. So that's just it's just laminated chipboard, all of it. No edging on it. Chipped edges. But like I say, this doesn't need to be pretty. It just needs to be functional. These are just some lengths of, they were off a kitchen unit. I think it were off on some sort of fitted kitchen. Uh, and these are the offcuts that weren't needed. And there's a couple more offcuts there. And again, it's all laminated chipboard. So, we're going to see if we can make something useful out of something useless. So I've had this project in mind for a couple of weeks, couple of three weeks. So I've been collecting bits as I've uh, been going through my day and thinking, oh, that'll do and that'll do. I can use it and use that. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I've got an idea. Uh, and I think I've got enough bits to do what I want to do. Last, last time I was over at this place, I took the measurements of what I needed. So what he's got, I built him a shed. Uh, he had a shed that he'd bought off uh, the internet and I put it up for him uh, probably uh, back at the beginning of this year sometime. And uh, he's put his washing machine and fridge and freezer in there. Uh, somebody wants a bench to go over the top of it so that he can put stuff on top. So that's what I'm going to do today. It must be the fact that everything's made to standard sizes these days because it's sheer. I measured it last time I went over and got the measurements and I needed 91 inch and that's dead on 91 inch. So, you know, everything because it's all standardised these days probably makes things a little bit easier. So the first thing I need to do is fasten these two pieces together down the middle so I can get some decent, decent depth on this work surface. I'm going to use this square edge that I've got built into my worktop to make that a square, proper square edge. So I'm going to use these plates to clamp them together. I thought these edges were square, but when I put them together, fasten the other end, uh, you could see there there's a gap between them, so I'm just using a clamp 
to bring them together before I put uh, another one of these plates on. I'm using five of these plates to fasten them together. And that should be more than enough to hold them. So I'm fastening the first three in this one piece to start with. And then what I'm going to do when I fasten the next three on the other side, I'm going to not put in the screw central. I'm putting it further towards me so that when it when I drive it in, it'll grip the wood and then it'll pull off the metal and drive these two edges together. And that'll give a nice tight fit. So because this top is only 20 mil and it's spanning sort of two, well, 2 2.3 meters, uh, I'll get a bend in it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reinforce it with another piece there, and I'm going to put a leg in the middle. So that's that's just to take a little bit of the bend out of it. I think I'll put one at the back as well. put that there, just use that as a spacer. So there's a reason for that, which should become clear the further I get down the build. I actually decided to fasten that piece on eventually uh, with a couple of screws and some glue. That's how confident I was that I'd got it right. <laughs> that could come back to bite me in a bit, I hope not. So because I'm not on site doing this, I'm going to make a couple of different options. I think I can fasten that end to the wall in this shed, and I'd rather have it fastened to a sort of wall plate instead of a leg. Um, this end, I'm pretty sure it needs to be a leg, so I'm going to make a leg for each end, and a wall plate 
In fact, I'd probably make a wall plate for both ends because I'd rather it sit on there and just have one leg in the middle. But just as a precaution, I'm going to make a leg on each end, a leg in the middle, and two wall plates. And just hope for the best. Right, I think I've got everything I need. So if I use the wall plates, I've got them to the side. I've got three legs, one for each side, and then one for the middle. So I might have to cut 20 mil off the middle leg because of that 20 mil plate I've put on there. But I'm leaving them all the same just in case it's not high enough to get over his, uh, his white goods. But I think that should be alright. But I'm going to take all the other bits of wood anyway. Uh, just in case I've got to make any modifications when I'm there. Right, I'll get it on the van. Uh, we're just about ready for off. I've got my clothes for tonight that I've just passed inspection. You know, after you're not going looking look like that and you're not wearing this, you're not wearing that. So I've got some clothes there that are good enough to go out in tonight. I've got my work boots and my work gear for tomorrow. So we're ready for off. Say we're ready for off, we will be when she gets out of bath because we were setting off at two o'clock. So I started getting ready at half past and I'm ready. Uh, I think she's just gone out of bath, so anyway, I'll have a cup of coffee. I've got a long drive. Here we are on the east coast at our friend's house. It's actually the day after now. It's, it's not a right pleasant day. It started raining early on, it's stopped now. Um, I'll just give you a view. So, their, their lodge is on the side of a lake. And, uh, really nice. Really nice to spend the weekend here. Come here about four, five, six times a year. But, yeah, really quiet. Nice and relaxing. Right, I'm going to get on with this work time. Right, this is where it's going to go. Across here. So there's some sort of shelf on top of all these white goods. Right, all I've done is put two of them legs down that end, fasten them in with a couple of L brackets. Same there. That piece I put on yesterday, I've screwed that against the wall. It's alright, it's, it's not a very solid shed, but it's alright, it's doing the job. And then this end, instead of having a leg, I'm going to have it sat on that top of that fridge and then I'm probably going to still put a little leg in the middle but I'm going to put all the white goods back in and see how solid it is first
and that's it finished I've just tidied them electrics up I took that to extension off moved it down a bit and then run the cable under the workbench and up out of this hole that I drilled so it's all working it's all plugged in it's all good now happy friend while I've been doing that today everybody else has been trimming up for Christmas Ducks. Nice weather for ducks. I'll take a shot of this when it gets dark.